you're looking at a chart I made up. I do this a lot with uh, most of my detectors I get just to it gives you a good idea visualization of how you know what kind of potential it has anyway so I took the Equinox I set it back to factory defaults and then I left everything stock I made up this chart I put you see in the upper left nickel that's the target going down the left side you see all the different uh, programs park one park two across the top you see the frequency multi 5 10 15 20 and 40 so what I did was I took the target which is a nickel in this case and I left everything on factor defaults like I said and then I done air tests in, in the different frequencies you can see park one in multi with a nickel got 13 inches then as I change the frequencies notice the lower like the 5 10 the lower the frequency the less depth I got on that nickel which makes sense come down to park two I done the same thing and and uh, look at gold two it was 15 so what you could do is you could even pause this video and look the chart over this gives you a real good idea of you know just what you could expect with different settings with different programs different frequencies you know it probably ain't going to translate into the ground like that obviously but because everybody's soil is different but at least it gives you an idea what it's capable of so like me heck when I go out next time I might try the gold 2 program on multi-frequency on some deep targets and see if I could hit them or look at the park 2 you know that, that was pretty good readings too Now here's another one I done with a dime and see I didn't fill it out completely because as you can see under like park one multi worked the best and as you got uh, you know went on down 5, 10, 15 you actually lost depth so park two was the same way multi was the best and then as I as you went higher in frequency you lost a little depth and I could see a pattern going so like field one field two I didn't fill those out because I you know I knew probably as I went to a higher frequency I was going to lose depth the gold 2 program it got it done the best and then if you look out there at 20 and 40 kilohertz it it's still done fairly good so I think you guys get the idea I'll show you one more this one the charts kind of messed up but it, you can get the idea this now I done the same thing but only I I done recovery speed across the top in, instead of a uh, frequency so like in this example I use the park 2 program in a uh, factory settings and everything so with a recovery speed of 1 I got 16 inches recovery speed of 2 I got 15 and a half and you see it goes on down across to the right the higher my recovery speed the less depth I got so uh, it just kind of makes sense it still wasn't bad depth but from 16 to 11 there's a pretty good difference that's why if I was looking for deep coins or something I would maybe use a recovery speed of two or three or something like that trying to get every you know advantage I could but this is just another little chart you could do you could go through all of them and change the different recovery speeds and see what difference it makes in the program